this way then. I can be more specific. Okay. Uh, I realize that uh, in the case of meteors or meteorites, whatever meteors, uh, and uh, also of satellites, that this is true. But uh, the satellite picture has only entered uh, in since 1957, and the uh, the Project Blue Book or its predecessor started sometime in 1947. And uh, supersonic aircraft were not prevalent, uh, you know, as prevalent then as they are now. The B-58, of course, travels at a high rate of speed now. And uh, I say that uh, relative, I think is sure you're right about that, because it's relative to a person who, and it's subjective to the person who is reporting these things. And uh, if they've been reported to cover, I remember one balloonist, uh, back in the uh, White Sands area, uh, and two other technical men down there. I think one of them was Conrad Wade. And uh, that one was uh, t was uh, was tracked by the Autolite and stopwatch at something around 18,000 miles per hour. Mm -hmm. Now, we had no satellites in the sky at that time, and we had no aircraft that could even approach that kind of a speed. Now, what, do they, what would they mean by this kind of a statement, then? In other words, this base statement is based strictly on the fact that uh, they feel that there is no UFO. Uh, no, I think that what he means there is this, that uh, all of those things which we have identified, now, discounting the 2%, uh, that all of these uh, objects that have been identified have at least not been operating outside of a realm which we can explain. Oh, I in other words, In other words, he's talking about, say, his velocity, then he's talking, say, he may possibly be uh, meteoritic, or uh, he might even be talking satellite velocity. Oh, I see. Major, uh, have you, pardon me. I was going to say that another thing, too, is that the characteristics uh, of even the unidentified cases uh, have not exceeded these limits. I think this is what he means. These limits. In other words, when I say these limits, I'm talking about the limits of things that we've had in previous, in reported in previous sightings that have been explained. I see what you mean by explained, yes. Uh, Major, have you had any uh, uh, new information that would be of interest to our group here? Uh, actually, I haven't had any, uh, any uh, information reported to me recently. Uh, there was a sighting that took place in Minnesota, but uh, all of the information isn't in yet. I had a phone call from a gentleman out there, but uh, as yet I haven't gotten the reports officially. Uh, look, do you remember Ken Cartwright? He's talked with you a number of times from WCUE. Right. Yeah, so he's oh, there? Oh, yes, yeah. yes, 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 sure. Um, do you mind, uh, sir, if we share this with him? Share what? Uh, what our conversation. Oh, no. I don't mind you telling him. Doing real well. So that's why I'm here. I haven't been in touch with them too recently, but uh, 
Uh, you haven't talked with him recently either? Oh, I haven't talked with him. I haven't talked with George for a while. He sent me a Christmas card, which I appreciate very much. Uh, he is uh, still quite active in the field. Well, I'm sure he is. So, uh, uh, just a moment, Major. Uh, actually, you noticed uh, I told you we'd uh, reorganize here. Yeah. And uh, Mr. Popovich uh, uh, did uh, register with the state and took over the old organization site. Mm -hmm. But uh, I would say about 96% of the original research group uh, came along with the new research. Okay, but Mr. Popovich is still quite active, and we're happy that he is. Well, that's right. So, uh, and as a parting word, Major, yeah. I'm glad to have met you from such a long distance. <laughs> Well, once again, it's been nice talking with you, and we'll make it a good night, then. Okay, good night.